What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotion video. They asked me yesterday about a particular install on a side window, which is actually this pickup. Um, this is an original pickup. It's got 33,000 miles, so it's going to be a lot of fun for me to work on this vehicle. This is what the person was complaining about, that the film didn't want to stick here and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of things that we did in the past there was a lot of mistakes that i did in the past one of them was cutting film inside here uh pressing on the glass i think what it did back then it it cut into this black coloration here and it ruined the paint and you could see a, a gap of light like you know i ruined the glass that's pretty much what happened so now we have this um uh, this vehicle that is brand new or even if it was older it don't matter i'm gonna go ahead and uh, and kind of show the way that i would attack this one without it having any problems this is as brand new as you're gonna get it as you can see is oem everything is oem about it so let me see if i can get my trusty little cover here and i'll show you some of the things that i did already in preparation for this Some of the people ask me about the uh, door guards and I do tell them all the time that these door guards are not made for every single vehicle. Some you cannot install them and for some of the people that ask me how do you install them on, when you, do, you don't remove the panels and whatever, it's, it's going to be a trick. It's going to be very difficult but right now I'm showing you a way that I do this vehicle without having to remove anything as far as like the panel or nothing. What, I'm, what I did do is actually pry back, meaning put my hands in there and, uh, and got the, uh, the panel. You know, this sweep is attached to, the, uh, to this panel, so it's stapled on there. So all I can do is just bring it back a little bit, put one of my pry tools, and right here in my dirty pouch, I remove this one. If you guys remove it and sometimes you think this is the button, you're going to remove that and perhaps maybe break that this it has this deal so it's in there remove it out of the way so you can actually then pry this back from here go up a little bit there put the separation right there now it is pried back so i can actually bottom load my film that my film can go below there right and um, without having to drag a lot of dirt and shit from from the bottom there because the uh, the glass will be making contact with uh, with this fuzz and bring a lot of that fuzz and dirt and shit that's here onto your installation so that's the reasoning to pry this back okay my thing fell where is it at uh well anyway i'll look oh, here it is it fell from here all right so let's go ahead and get this show on the road there is your pad your your glass this is my film's going to be Lumar IRX. So this for sure it's going to have a curve to it and we'll see it right now. It will expose itself when when we try and do this. Okay, so we get this deal. One more. But yeah, is good. Okay, put this film out of the way. Okay, so... There is our pattern. As you can see, there's going to be fingers in distress everywhere. So, go ahead and do that. Raise it up a couple of inches from the bottom so that we can put all this fingers all the way to the bottom. If you don't do this, if you don't push the fingers to the bottom, what's gonna happen, you're gonna get fingers here and you're gonna get a lot of shit like entrails of dust, you know, dirt particles. 
when the water is seeping down it's collecting all the dirt that is coming down with and then when a finger pops in it'll introduce all the dirt into the finger mess everything up right away so do that and let's go ahead and do a um, a snap shrink and that'll be that pump 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 there it is down down once you snap this thing you will not have any single problem with any fingers on the side or anywhere else on the bottom nothing removed all the pressure from there okay so we've done that what I am gonna do now is bring my film inside and finish all my cuts and everything on the inside there will be no cuts to be done outside and I'll show you why Okay, this was a gentleman who was having a lot of problems with the matrix not sticking here on the side. What I told him was this, which I'm gonna do right now, is I want you to go ahead and cut it, like here, all the side, all the way. Push the blade as far to the left as possible. Almost all the way to the top, stop there, do this. And then we're gonna move the film to the right, like this. And you can see the gap of light. What we want to do is I have created a very straight cut by doing it here, which I could have done outside, but I don't want to do it. And then just bring it back right there where it hides the gap of light. That's pretty much where we're going to stop and continue everything else. And now we can have a micro edge at the top. There it is there. Outside. here again all the way up there you go and a um, little bit of water here I'm gonna continue my cut I'm gonna pull the film this way and cut the film in the air like this that way I do not cut on the matrix going to go ahead and do this in an angle to where it is a superb superb cut and when I put my film up there it's gonna have pretty much no um, it's gonna have like 1 30 seconds of a gap right here and that's the way I want it there there And let's go ahead and see what that looks like, 130 seconds of the gap right now. Alright. I can air peel this thing, but I don't want to touch the film. And because it's such a beautiful truck, um, I don't want no crinkles or dimples in the middle of the film where it stresses, you know, any stress marks on my film. So I'm gonna use this peel board and that's about it. All right. This thing over here. as always we're gonna start uh, the top here get that lip going so all the contaminants that were in the lip and stuff are gonna be out of the way and do this with a lot of finesse a lot of care get all the contaminants out of the way
Campeón, ¿cómo quedó lo del gap en esto? ¿Quedó bien? Okay. Se mira fenomenal ahí. Uh -huh. No tiene nada de luz ni nada, corte a mano. Se tiene que hacer para toda la audiencia de México que me dicen, chingado, dirty. Haz algo en español, pues bueno, lo va a hacer en español. Esta ventana de atrás se tiene que ser manual. El par de la computadora no va a servir. Cortar todo esto fuera, venir adentro y hacer el último corte dentro. Ahí está Javier Compián, ya lo hizo en la instalación, se mira excelente. Ok, vamos a seguir aquí. Our thing here. So I'm going to use this here for the bottom, right? The only time I'm going to do this because I'm, I need some, um, all the stuff to be flushed down that I can't see, right? And then here, do that right there. Very, very fine. Fine, fine, fine mist. Get everything going. Carry it with a lot of care. Drop it real fast because it is a very hot day. I don't have aircon yet at the shop. Do that. Load it on down. And position the film to where we're gonna go ahead and get it right there where we talked about we cut it there there and it is perfect right here to the t 130 seconds of a gap or less and we're pretty much done as you can see there is no stress here no stress here as far as fingers so there's going to be no stress anywhere and let's just go ahead and wrap this up because i have a lot of other work waiting for me outside but i wanted to squeeze this video in because they did ask me about it yesterday and lo and behold here is a vehicle there you go, straight out, straight out. And I'll tell you right off the bat, you're not gonna see, you're not gonna see, and you're not gonna see anything right here on the side. Clear 100%, nothing on there. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and roll it up because I have, like I said, a lot of work outside to do. Let's finish this up. And that's pretty much it. No stress anywhere, all the way down, all the way across, and bye bye Felicia. Move this out of the way, put it there. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get this out of the way. There you go, get this out of the way. There you go. My pry tool, they go back where they belong. So there is your window, we'll put this out back where it was because a lot of my videos I don't put my stuff back where it belongs and there it is, 100%. I didn't mess up this nice classic 33,000 miles, I don't know what it is uh, as far as the, uh, I know it's a Z71 but I don't know if it's a 91 or whatever. Perfect, I love this. The reason I create the tools is to uh, protect customers' investments in vehicles like this. Guys, enjoyed it. Have a great day. GoPro, stop recording.